Oh, you've managed to get him on a dinner date already. Always been a quick worker. Yeah, I remember. To be fair, George might not realise it's a romantic thing. I mean, you really just might want pie and chips. Flowers and pomade. Do you want to take that back? Hey. Hey. He's over there. Why don't you start over there with them? I thought we were all meeting up together. Yeah, I'm just having a bit of private time with my boyfriend. I'll get over there before he turns into a pumpkin. Smooth. Hiya. Hiya. Oh, Eileen, you look beautiful. Shut up, I do not. Yeah, you do. Even more than usual. I never thought that were possible. Proper little charmer. Don't know how he does it. Just stop gloating. You can stop with the slushy one-liners. Oh, sorry. Am I trying too hard? Bit. Flowers. Oh, lovely. It was nothing. Oh, a card. But no, hang on a minute. That wasn't meant to be there. Rest in peace, Mildred. You'll be missed. I can explain. You don't have to. You've stolen these flowers off some poor cow's grave and given them to me. What? No, I would never do that. They were left behind at the office. Is that supposed to make it better? I never said I bought them. Well, you shouldn't have to. It should be a given. It, it's just being environmentally minded, Mum. Yes, exactly. It's recycling. Reduce, reuse and all of that. I'll give you reduce and reuse. And next time you think about being a matchmaker... Have a long, hard talk to yourself, because silly black, you ain't. And I should have known that someone who spends most of his time around dead people would have something missing. Enjoy your biryani. Your dinner invite's been revoked. I think you're going to have to work a little bit harder to get these two lovebirds singing the same tune. 